Mr. Whip, uh, last week I had the privilege of coming to the floor and sharing a letter from one of our constituents in the 19th Congressional District of New York, Mr. Paul Manahan from Mayapak, New York. And this is what he wrote. We don't need or want more government spending. Cut regulations, cut taxes, repeal the 2010 health care law and let business do what it does best. Create jobs based upon demand, not government dictates, spending and attempts at market manipulation. And today in this bill, the, Ameri the Access to Capital for Job Creators Act, H.R. 2940, we are taking yet another step toward implementing this kind of advice from a common sense American. Uh, small businesses, as many of us have already mentioned, but they really are the job creators and the key to a healthy and strong economy. Our number one priority in this Congress is to ensure that the regulatory environment for small businesses supports capital formation, investment, and job creation. This bill does exactly that, furthering job creation by eliminating unnecessary regulations. The Access to Capital for Job Creators Act creates jobs by eliminating a prohibition on solicitation that is a barrier to capital formation and job creation. And regulations that are unnecessary in this case are being eliminated because investors under Regulation D have to be sophisticated and accredited. So there's the common sense. This is a win all the way around. I'm very proud to co-sponsor this important piece of legislation, and I am so glad to join colleagues on both sides of the aisle supporting this bill. I want to make mention of the fact that this bill now joins uh, 15 other bills that have been supported by both Democrats and Republicans. They are listed on a card that we're carrying with us and that you've probably seen quite a bit. I want the Senate to know that this support from both sides indicates how strongly we are committed to creating jobs, and our nation cannot wait for the Senate to hold yet this one hostage as well. So I urge its swift passage, and thank you, Mr. Chairman. The gentlelady's time has expired. The gentlelady from California. I continue to yield to